Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you so much for escaping with us. That's Andrew. And I'm Alex. And as always, with great power comes great misinformation ability, which is something we've been dealing with a lot recently. A lot of that going on. A lot of that going around. Yeah. So, real quick, we're not going to spend a lot of time on it, but we have gotten a lot of hate recently. So, I want to say basically like two things. Uh, number one, just don't judge a book by its cover. I would say like 99% of the people who stitched us or tweeted about our opinions hatefully assumed things that were just not true at all. Of course. So I encourage our community to not do that to others. Um, also, do not let others determine what you allow yourself to like and enjoy. This is a comedic, nerdy debate show. We yell and insult each other all the time, but we also try to not, you know call out or single out other creators and insult them, calling them idiots or children for having an opinion. So, you know, if someone does that to you or you see it happening to us, do not be discouraged. Um, they're allowed to have their opinions and yes, you're allowed to have yours and you aren't a better person than them and they're not a better person than you because they watch and enjoy different movies. Um, that's one of my favorite things about the podcast since we started is I feel like we've built a community on a shared love of movies and pop culture. And I think most people who know us better and are in our Discord um, have found a super fun place where they can come and respectfully share their opinions and discuss the stuff the way we're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, So we love hearing from you guys and other people on the internet. We have a lot to learn, um, and but so does everybody, and that's okay. So to our community, at least specifically, be kind, have fun, Keep watching movies, keep liking the movies you want to like, keep discussing movies, keep learning, because uh, that's what we're going to do. Exactly. And anyone who takes it more seriously than that... Calm down. <laughs> you know, you do your thing, and we'll do ours. <laughs> Calm so down. yeah, just seriously, just freaking like have fun, and we'll talk about movies. All right. I wanted to start with something that I saw the other day that I thought was really, really interesting. Okay. Matthew Lillard. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with the actor. He yep. recently starred in FNAF, a movie we didn't really review. You want to do a quick... Like, out of 10? Yeah. Sure. FNAF. Three, yeah, FNAF. Three, two, one, six out of like 10. Like five, five. Yeah. Six. I thought it was fun. I don't think it was the worst thing in there the were, world. There were bits of it that kept sucking me in, and yeah. then there were other bits where I was just not caring. But... I, I think I said this to you. This movie could go up a couple points for me if it makes FNAF fans happy. I think the only point of this movie was to make that that fandom happy. Mm -hmm. And if they did that with that movie, then then this movie's great. Yeah. I, I don't know if they did that. I'm not in the FNAF fandom me enough. Me neither. But yeah. I hope I hope the FNAF fandom is happy because that's all I really care about. Yeah. 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 But uh, so Matthew Lillard. Uh, recently starred in that. He was yep. good in that movie, as he is always. Obviously, yep. he's an incredible Shaggy from the live-action Scooby-Doo movies. Obviously, Scream. And I saw a tweet yesterday or the day before saying that Matthew Lillard would have been a spectacular carnage. Cletus Cassidy carnage. And I agree. I think yeah. he would have been. Yeah. Um, And I do also remember... That on the set of Scooby Doo, James Gunn told Matthew Lillard that he would be the perfect plastic man. Yeah. In DC. And I just wanted to have the discussion. Glasses. Do you feel terrible for Matthew Lillard? Because I kind of feel bad. I feel like maybe he was born in the wrong time. Because now we're in this superhero renaissance where he totally could have been plastic man in James Gunn's DC. You don't think he still or, could be? Well, he can't be Cletus Cassidy now. He's too old? Yeah. But like a younger yeah. Matthew Lillard could have had all these, and I'm not saying he's not an iconic actor or a great actor, and he's certainly made a lot of money, but yeah. maybe was he born in the wrong time? I see why you're saying that. I'm not, I'm not going to say no because he's so unbelievably like loved for the Scooby-Doo thing. And like, and he, scream and scream, right? Like those fandoms go hard for Matthew Lillard. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I definitely see what you're saying. I still think he could be involved in things like that. The fact that he came back and he did such a good job with his role in FNAF, like no one, like he's not in FNAF a lot, 
But the parts that he's in, everyone's like, yeah, Matthew yeah. Lillard. So I, I still think he could he could knock some stuff out. You know, a lot of actors don't start or do their best roles until later. Samuel L. Jackson wasn't famous till he was like 45. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Maybe maybe he'll he will be Plastic Man. Uh yeah, I, I yeah. You could be a good Plastic Man. They wouldn't even have to do CGI. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. Dude, I'm just a lot of limbs. It's Mr. Fantastic over here. I'm just a lot of limbs, <laughs> man. Do you remember the Cuban episode where we were fan casting each other and he said, "You could be Mr. Fantastic when he makes his neck really long." <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. All right, yeah. Um, You want to move on to some major news? Yeah, we got some news. The MCU's in shambles! It's going downhill, it's man. It's in shambles! Everything sucks. Oh, my gosh. What are we going to do all of our... Co- we only watch MCU our, movies. Our, our three-hour-long CGI battles aren't going to be here anymore. No! I think everybody needs to cool their jets. Yeah, I mean, hasn't the MCU been in shambles for... Years. I've seen like, <laughs> like 50, art shambles. I've seen 50 the MCU is in shambles posts in the last week. Yeah. And to be fair, it's, yeah, it's not in a good spot, but Koi Jandro, friend yeah. of the show. Yeah, Koi. I thought he said something that I really, really agreed with, which was it kind of feels like variety is just kicking Marvel while they're down. And it is a slow month considering the strikes. Yeah. And yeah, they probably were considering bringing back RDJ and Scarlett Johansson. Which, if they do, bad choice. Bad. Yeah. And yeah, like, like, have they had some serious duds lately? Yeah. But you know, I mean, they they did come out with the the Blade news. The, that was bad. The Marvels yeah. news. Um, that the, the director. Leaving. Just left yeah. in the middle of production to make the, her the next fact movie. That they're, you know, they don't know what they're doing with, you know, they might swap out Kang, but they might not. And Dr. Doom. And it just seems like, you know, at least phase one through phase three, we, there was no article like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. There was no, every other project, a director is leaving. They're canceling something. They don't know if they're recasting an actor. Like I remember back in the day where like they recasted Hulk and, and War Machine. And like, that was the two big ones and that was it. Mm-hmm. And like, we freaked out about it. <laughs> but like, now it's just, doesn't seem like they know what they're doing, but who knows? Maybe the agree or disagree that we've done before of which has a brighter future, Star Wars or Marvel. I'm starting to lean more Star Wars here. <laughs> yeah, no, certainly. And I think that was our original answer. It, yeah, it, the MCU is not in, it's definitely in its worst place. Yeah. But, I mean, we just got an Echo trailer. That shit looks phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, I still have Deadpool 3 coming out. We have Deadpool 3 coming out. I feel like, you know... And just this year, we got Guardians 3. Exactly! And what did we get? Did we get anything last year? No. Not, nothing that was, like, everybody loved. Right. But, obviously, the year before No Way Home, yeah. the year before that, WandaVision and Loki were very popular. Apparently, Loki Season 2 is amazing and the best thing ever. And it changes the game. Yeah, we've there are five episodes so far. We have watched one. Who know? <laughs> we'll get around to I, it. I, I just... And you guys are going to get a full season three, review you know, there's, there's a next bunch, week. There's a bunch of stuff coming out right now. This weekend, yeah. when we're filming this. Invincible. R- Invincible. Gen V mm-hmm. finishing. Loki. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, Attack on Titan for me, but I'm not mm. watching that for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, and then there's there's something else. We got a movie or something. But anyways, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Of the three TV shows, Loki, Gen V, and Invincible, I find myself wanting to watch the two that are not Loki way more. Interesting. Like, way more. Interesting. Also, I just watched the Adam Eve special yeah. spin-off episode yeah. for the invincible yeah. I, that is one of the best tv show episodes of like i've ever seen yeah i i don't think i'd be in the minority in saying that the invincible team is up there with the spider verse team of making the best superhero content in the world right now yeah um like invincible season 1 is a perfect 10 out of 10 season of television and have you seen the reviews for season 2 so far no they're 10 out of 10 i'm sure I have complete trust in Seth Rogen and that team. They are yeah, the, no mean, surprise. I went in, the Adam, like, because obviously I enjoyed Invincible Season 1. I thought it was great. And then, you know, see the, the next episode came out. And before, Zach and I just sat down. We were like, oh, let's watch the Adam Eve 
thing before we jump into the next season. And I wasn't really thinking anything of it. And then I was sucked in. I was like, this origin story for her is crazy. Yep. And the action was, it was like the, the, oh man, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so if you haven't seen the Adam Eve special, go watch it and let us know what you think about season two so far of Invincible because we're going to watch that soon. What a great show. We're so lucky. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so, you know, if the MCU is in shambles, it's in shambles. Who cares? Apparently us. We need to care. We're the MCU fanboys that only like Marvel. Apparently. Now, that's going to perfectly lead into some hot seat. You know, Let's do it. We're, I feel like we're on the hot seat. We're talking about some hot stuff. Yeah. We uh, would you like to start or shall I? Um, do you have questions for me? I do. I, I, I feel like I, I want to start. I'm going to ask you questions. Okay. No problem. How long are we doing? Are we Let's, doing five minutes? I was going to do sure. I don't know if I have five minutes worth of questions, but well, I can. That's okay. I'll give some answers and then that'll make you think of other yeah, questions. Yeah, I'll Ready? Three, two. Gun to your head. Yeah. You have to rank Killers of the Flower Moon one through ten. What, oh, what do that's you, impossible. What you have to that's give it. That's so, t- that's brutal. Uh, fuck. Five out of ten. Okay, right in the middle. Yeah, I can't, I can't give it any higher than that. You, you've said enough negative about it. Say, try to say one, like, one positive thing about it. There's a character moment at the start with Leo that we know this because we had to watch this part twice. Um, <laughs> uh, when he gets off of the train, there's a fight going on. And you see him kind of like watch it, but also want to get involved. That he throws a punch. He, yeah, but the, he's not involved or anything. At all. And it shows, it's like, it's within the first two minutes of seeing Leo's character on screen and it shows that he is totally willing to go with the flow, yep. whatever the fuck is going on and that he's an inherently violent person. Yep. You learn both of those things in one character moment in the first two seconds of the movie. And I, the second time I watched it, I was like, oh, that's that's pretty good. No, yeah. Nice work. I, I recognize that too. It was, yeah. it, was a, it was a really good moment. Um, we're, this is coming out way after the party but we're having a party soon yes what do you it's a big spider-man party with lots of people yeah what do you think will be the best and the worst part of the party uh i think we might get robbed um so that would suck especially because you're inviting random people i am um <laughs> Wait, we're not talk about that <laughs> um uh, uh but i think it's just gonna be a fun time and i'm ready to you know take a lot of pictures i think everybody's gonna most people are i think a lot of people are going to not come as spider-man which is obviously gonna be funny but i think most people are gonna get the memo and come as spider-man and uh it'll be fun yeah so the best part's just the memories that we will have for the rest of our lives okay yeah um we just read a lot of hate comments, and we've gotten a lot yeah. recently. Yeah. Not for the Hayden thing. For the Killers of the Flower Moon thing, did any of them hurt your feelings? No. Yeah? No, no, because like like we said a little bit, I don't want to, you know, beat the dead horse here, but like every single like mean comment for, like I said, the Hayden situation, it was like I was in the wrong there technically. Like like with with this situation, like every single person is essentially saying, Fuck you for liking what you like. And yeah. you sound like such an asshole when you talk like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're co- going and commenting on other videos of ours, being like, you suck, that have nothing to do with it. We had so many comments on a, like a Spider-Verse video. And it's like, dude, this is what we do. Like, calm down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could change anything about your life, what would it be? Uh, my girlfriend, Rachel, still lives in Miami. I would love for her to live here. Mm -hmm. We've been together for five years and we've been doing long distance since January. And uh, yeah, it's just tough. Uh, You know, I fly her out, you know, once or twice a month. You know, she's here right now and this is the second time this month that she's here and she's going to be here for two weeks. So it's great. So I I get her out here as much as I can. But And I visited home a lot when I first moved here, but it's still tough. It would be great if she lived here, yeah. What, uh, speaking of that, so imagine... Everyone in the house is gone. Yeah. Just you and Rachel here. Yeah. Whole house. Yeah. Where are y'all banging? Ooh. Don't say my couch. I wasn't going to say your couch. Good. <sighs> Kitchen, loft, my room, Ooh. Haley's room. Do Haley's room. Haley's room out of disrespect. Yeah, for sure. Um. This is going to be a weird answer. The staircase. Our staircase is kind of unique. Yeah. So it would create, there would be some interesting positions there. Because it goes like. Yep. 
Interesting. Yeah. You think she would? No. <laughs> Rachel's a very private person. When she finds out that we're talking about this, she's going to cut she's, my dick off. She's listening right now. I hope not. <laughs> Um, I made burgers today. Yeah, they smelled good. Yeah, it, do you, if you if I offered you one, would you have taken it? Of course. Oh, really? I, you're a burger snob. I figured you'd be like, no way. What do you mean I'm a burger snob? You're I a, eat you're garbage a... for a living, dude. I mean, that's true. I've got do you think you would have enjoyed diet. it? I don't know. I, I I haven't had too much of your cooking, but I'm sure. Well, you like the nachos. Dude, your nachos are... Cr- the meat you make for the, the nachos same meat. is It's the same meat. Dude, so I would love it probably. I actually... Probably be my favorite burger in L.A. They were my favorite. That you've ever made? Yeah. Nice. I'll have to make another one soon. Yeah. Um, last question. Last question. Do you have a couple or you don't have any? I got one. Do no, it. I don't have one, but I'm going to think of a one. Oh, yeah. Do you remember a couple weeks ago when you asked me what's like the one thing that I'd be worst at? That yeah. it was like, yeah, you could get paid to do it, but it'd be the worst thing you ever did. No, give it to me. No, give it to me. I'm sorry, am I making noise? I literally just edited a Patreon episode where the last like minute you're like, for literally no reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, um, uh, yeah, yeah, cooking like I could never be a chef. Yeah, you couldn't pay me to be a chef, I'd be so bad. I cooking just makes no sense to me. On the Patreon, we're about to do the blind, deaf, mute challenge cooking. Yes. Where we have to cook. It'll be you, me, and one other person. A request from our David Montgomery team Tier. member, Cassidy. Yeah. So got tape on one person's mouth so they can't talk, and then one Ooh. person's blind and one person can't hear. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah. So enjoy that. Yeah, so good cooking. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. You're currently playing Spider-Man 2. Yes. Are you enjoying it? Absolutely. What has been your favorite part? And do you have any complaints? Um, so this isn't much of a spoiler uh, because I'm only like 30% in. This is going to be three weeks. Yeah, it's going to be two weeks. Yeah, You're yeah, good. True, true, true. I, I think we can do spoilers for Spider-Man 2 if you haven't played no, it. No, I mean, it literally just the whole opening 30 minutes is my favorite part of any video game ever. The Sandman Same fight. Sandman fight, yep. Um, I like the ability, you know... The, the, the traveling, the swinging, the web wings is fun. It's always fun. Um, but then the story is just really good. They understand the characters. Like, you know, and the fact that you can switch between Miles and Peter now. Like, you can literally be doing a mission and then, you know, you open a menu and you can switch to Miles to go do a different mission. Um, I think it's really cool. And then uh, something a little specific. In the first game, you had, uh, like, powers. Uh, but then you also you had, like, web things that you could do. And you had to hold down, like... R1 and then select it and then click R1 again. And this one, you literally hold R1 and then hit a different button. So the, And you could do L, L1 and a different button. So like the mechanics of how to do a special power bar, a special web thing um, is a lot easier and quicker. And I, I really like that. Nice. Uh, any problems? No. The, you... the graphics aren't that great. Ooh. Like, I don't, I, I don't think anyone necessarily disagrees with that. Like, they're, they're not bad, but they look like it's not like Unreal Engine, like... I mean, I don't know if any game is supposed to, like, I feel like Ragnarok, like, looks, but, like, some other games have better, like, human face graphics, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But, you know, I, that doesn't bother me. Do you think Yuri is the best Spider-Man? Yeah. I mean, like, that Peter Parker in the game? Yeah. Not strongest, best. I think it's both. Okay. Um... All right, this Probably. Is, this is my... I've got two more Spider-Man questions, okay? Yep. Do you think, because of this game, that the best way to tell a Spider-Man story is through longer content and not movies, like a TV show or a video game? Because you are spending 30 hours with this Spider-Man and this Miles, and you spent 30 hours with him for the last Spider-Man game, when we're getting an hour and a half with Tom Holland's Spider-Man per movie. This is something I'm learning... In the last few years, I think people undercredit the amount of awesomeness and the great storytelling that can come from a video game. Like people rave about The Last of Us all the time. People rave about the Ragnar, uh, the God of War games and stuff. And it's like that is true because of the point you just said, like you spend a lot more time with these characters and they can do a lot more cool things, and you are actually kind of getting to be them a little bit more. Um, I think 
Spider-Man lends itself to being a great story in any any form. It could be a great movie, it can be a great comic, it can be a great TV show, and it can be a great video game um, if you just treat it with respect. They could have made a 30-hour long Spider-Man video game that sucked, but they didn't. So and my last Spider-Man question, you've seen the new Miles suit. Rate it 1 out of 10, 1 through 10, and this is the final Miles suit with the hoodie yeah. with the hair sticking out. I'm going to give it a 3. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's weird. It's rough. Yeah, I don't oh, know. It's not great. It's weird. And again, I don't, I'm not one that cares for suits all that often, but you showed it to me and I was like, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? <laughs> He's got a hoodie on. He looks like you. But dude, I unlike the TASM 2 suit. So, I'm, so I'm, that's just what I'm you're chilling. doing. That's... I mean, I swap it up every once in a while, but anytime I'm going into like a part of the game that I know is like, conti- cool. or ha- there's going to be a cutscene, I put the TASM 2 back is on. Is there a symbiote version of the TASM 2 suit? I don't, maybe, I don't know. Oh, I don't that think so. would be amazing. No. All right. One through 10. Rate how great your life is right now. One out of ten. One through ten. Out of ten, rate your life right 8. now. Eight point five. Very high. What's the reason? I for could it? round up to a nine. You could round up to a nine. Wow, you're very high on life right now. Yeah. Is there a particular reason for that? I don't have any particular reason not to be. Um, I'm getting to do what I've worked for. I mean, we've, we've talked about this on the podcast before. It took me a long time, yeah. but I'm getting to do it now. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy the podcast. I enjoy the trivia. Um, I have an unbelievable friend group out here. I go to movies early. I get, you know, movies, screenings, um, escape rooms, game nights. We're having a party. I think the two roommates that moved in make the living situation even better. So my living situation, great. My friend, my friend group is great. I miss my family, but my family's great. Um, my work is great. Uh, the only thing that is a little bit lower, uh, and then my mental health, like I said, you know, I had a, a breakdown a few weeks ago, but like overall, I've worked really hard on not overthinking as much and, and getting out of that rut and just focusing on making life good again. I think I'm doing a good, pretty good job at that. Again, my goal for the year was to get to the end of the year and not necessarily have the best videos ever done, but have memories and pictures and videos in my camera roll of things that I did with friends. And I think I've done a really great job of doing that. I mean, tonight is my monthly activity with friends. We're going to pumpkin carving and we're watching a scary movie and sleeping over. Like that's life. That's good. Um, it's not as good that my mental health is not as good as it could be and work. Both the podcast and trivia are in a slump for the last couple months. So they're still doing well enough for me to live or whatever, but they're not I'm not getting 110 million views like I have before. Mm-hmm. So because of those two reasons, I'm not giving it like a 10, I think that's or nine. So I'll give it 8.5. Also women. That was my low for last week. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but it is what it is. I, I kind of said after the, after the, the stuff earlier this year that like, I'm not looking for anything serious. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of waiting until the end of the year. Yeah. But um, yeah. Would you say you're grateful? Yeah. What the? Yeah. Absolutely. That's my last question. Yeah. And and also I'm streaming, and I'm really enjoying the streaming. That's something new, and that's something I've done more consistently. I feel like I got a little bit of a community, and people. I, I you know. There was one stream. I can't remember what we did. I think it was one of my Spider-Man prep streams where I did like Spider-Man content for like three hours. Like I did Spider-Man trivia and Spider-Man trivia on Omega and talked to people, and then we did the old Spider-Man game and. Um, stuff like that, and um, and then at the end of it, a couple people donated, which was nice. And then one asked for advice, and for like the last fifteen minutes, I kind of just talked about stuff, and it seemed like and people in chat were like really responding to it. So it was like kind of what I want to do, where I'm like there for people and like spreading a good message and helping them be happy. But then got to be talking about Spider Man for three hours, and then made some money and that. So the streams can be really really fun, and I I, I don't overthink the streams as much as my other content. Um, and obviously I'm getting to play the Spider-Man game right now. So, and that that's on stream. So that's great. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Um, we're going to blind rank some things. Yeah. So we haven't done this in a while. I know. Well, I think we did it last episode. (laughs) We filmed things out of order sometimes. Sorry. We're going to do Halloween costumes. We did Halloween costumes. Um, in the past. In the past. We use the time stone. Okay. Um, so we've got video games. Do you want to just rank video games overall or like video game characters or I don't know enough about video games. I was going to do video games. 
I can give you video. You haven't played video games. I've, I've played less video games than you, yeah, brother. So what I was the... going to do video games that we both know. I was going to go like Mario Kart, Spider-Man, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Okay, well, you want to do me first? Let's just do five. Arkham Knight. Let's do five. Okay, you go first. Give Arkham me... Knight. I don't... All the Arkham games run together to me because I played them when I was 11. So that's the only Arkham one I'll give you, so Arkham. I'll just put Arkham in general at two. Mario Kart 8. Three. Spider-Man PS4. Are you going to give me Spider-Man PS5? I don't know. I know the next one I'm going to give you. Okay. So you're putting Spider-Man at one. Maybe. Wow. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Okay. Frick you. Why are you saying frick you? I don't know. Just go ahead. Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'm happy with this. I think I would switch one thing. Spider-Man, Arkham, Mario Kart, Super Smash, Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Assassin's Creed is cool. I've just never played one of the full games. Yeah. I would switch Mario Kart and, and Smash probably. You like Smash better than Mario Kart? I mean, I've played Smash more. Mario Kart's more simple. Smash is more like competitive, you know? And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Smash, it's much more about your performance. And Mario Kart, there's a lot more luck Randomness, involved. yeah. Yeah, it's so There's no luck. blue blue shell in Smash. No. I mean, technically there is. Do it's an item, but... Do you think that the Mario Kart the way that the power-ups work, that it's like the farther in worst place you are, the better power-up you get technically, because that's obviously yeah. not how it always is. Do you think that that's a really strong system? Are you trying to pitch socialism to me right now? I am. It's not going to work, bud. Okay. <laughs> you've seen that tweet? No, I just know you've oh. called it socialism before. It is socialism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're giving the people that need the help more help. I was about to, yeah. And you're, well, we're going to piss a lot of people off. With you're giving the first place people bananas. Yeah. But bananas could be good. If you're smart enough to if use them, given, if it's which given is probably why you're in first. <laughs> Whoa. We're getting into some, dude, we said some controversial things this episode. Yeah. That might get us into trouble. <laughs> I'm kidding. Come on. Okay. It's funny <laughs> because you and I, are on the same page and nobody knows what page of the book we're on uh, I don't all know. I'm going to say is I'm a degenerate gambler I'll gamble on anything it's true Um, you want me to do for you real quick yeah what are we going to do I mean I can do video games for you real quick That's balls what yeah alright I haven't played shit oh I should have said fall guys how many lego guys lego games have you played I've played most of them okay lego indiana jones oh yeah I did that one Uh, four Okay. Um, Minecraft. Five. Wow. You're going to piss a lot of people off with that one. I'm not saying it's a bad game. Spider-Man PS5. Well, I didn't play it, but watching it, it's one. Talk about Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Yeah. FNAF. Three, but I've never... I, I actually don't even know how that game works. You told me you're pressing cameras. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. And then I'm going to give you Super Smash. Yeah, two. I would put FNAF last, so I would have Lego, Lego Indiana Jones at third, Minecraft at four, and FNAF at five, just because I've never played FNAF or watched somebody play it. But then Spider Man PS, Spider Man Two PS Five, and uh, would I have a two? Smash? Yeah, that, yeah, I agree with that for sure. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. I think the question is, are you ready? Oh gosh. We shot some people with uh, Nerf guns today. It was great. We did. All right, we're going to do another five one. Dude, I've got a gun on you. I'm going to give you. Ready? Yeah. The next three blind rankings that we're doing were all suggested by people in the Discord. Go join our Discord. And our Patreon. And we have merch. Okay. Oh, we're doing a merch thing. There's a competition. What was it again? It was such a good idea. Oh, no. We're we're doing... uh, 
in I think we'll give him like a few weeks or a month. We're going to pick someone who has bought merch to be on a segment of the podcast, like virtually. This is correct. Yeah. So if you want to talk with us live on an episode and actually be in the episode, and you've been waiting to get the merch, now now would be the time to do this. Then yeah. now would be the time to do so. Okay. Ready? Yes. We are doing X Men members. Okay. Ready? Storm. Four. Not a big storm guy? No. Rogue. Not on attractiveness, just on them as a character that you like. Well, if it was attractiveness, storm would have been two. Really? Storm's really hot. I just... I think she's a little one-dimensional a lot of the time. Rogue is not a very good character, but Rogue is so hot. I'll go three. <laughs> oh my gosh. Juggernaut. Uh, five. Professor. One. And last is Wolverine. Two. Yeah, I'm cool with that list. Professor X, Wolverine, Rogue, Storm, Juggernaut. I think that's pretty good. It's a pretty good list. I would have had Storm ahead of Rogue as a character. Storm. I think Juggernaut's an awesome villain. He just not much character wise. True. True. Do you want to do that for me or do you want to? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Can I give you all X Men characters though? Can you do yeah, if I. Can if... you do Juggernaut? You can do villains, yeah. If I don't know it well enough, then I'll tell you. Striker. Four. Magneto. Two. Iceman. Three. Colossus. Okay. You're going to be thrilled with that choice. Yeah? Who do you think I have? What number one? Cyclops? No. Jean Grey? No. Nightcrawler? No. Quicksilver? No. Is it one I already gave? Wolverine, Professor X? No. Beast? No. Kitty Pride. No. The Toad. No. Wanda. No. She's not an X-Men. I, I don't know. What is it? Deadpool. Oh. Yeah, I'm good with this list. Deadpool, Magneto, Iceman, Striker, Colossus. Yeah. Okay, so we did a couple of... Uh, we're going to do one more quick five one, and then we'll do a ten one. Okay. Yeah. This is Star Wars Projects. Yo. <laughs> Great, let's do it. All right, we're blind ranking Star Wars projects. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you Ahsoka. Four. Visions. What? Five. That's the anime. Yeah. Andor. One. Okay, we're going Attack of the Clones. Three. New Hope. Two. Yeah, I'd flip New Hope and Andor. I'd make New Hope one, Andor two, and then I'd have Ahsoka at three, Attack of the Clones at four, and Visions at five. Visions, I think Visions has some great stuff, but it has some awful stuff depending on the studio that made it. So we're, we're probably, doing Star Wars projects here? Yeah, we probably could have done 10 with this. But All right, here we go. Yep. Yeah, 10 is more fun. Empire Strikes Back, or as you call it, Empires. Empires. Uh, that's going to be one. I did not put an S. Clone Wars. Not The Clone Wars. 2002. Clone Wars? Clone like Wars. the little movies? 2002, yes. The two movies? Yes. There's two. Wow. Wow. Yeah, dude. The Book of Boba Fett. Five. You know, I misspelled Boba Fett on one of my trivia videos and left it on purpose. It was a great decision. Oh, they killed you? A few people did. Man can't spell Boba. Yeah. It wasn't even me. It was my editor, but it was worth it. That's so funny. Two more? Yeah. The Mandalorian. Three. The Phantom Menace. Okay, that's fine. I think this is great. I think this is great. All right, let's hear it. Empires. 
I hate you. Empire Strikes Back, Clone Wars, 2002. Yeah. Mando, Phantom, Boba Fett. Yeah. I think list. that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You're not that high on Clone Wars 2002? Uh, n- no. You put it at two, it was like, a, so confidently. Easy to. Would you take Clone Wars 2002 over Clone Wars 2008? What's that? Is that just... The Clone Wars, the show. Yeah. Um, that started with the movie. I mean, it's... Obviously, it's, the movie's garbage, but the show. It's so different. I mean, like, the, the Clone Wars show is so much... It's four seasons. It, it's like an actual show. That was just, like, two spinoff movies in 2002, uh, right? Clone Wars show is seven seasons, not four. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I just... I was a child when I saw those, and when I see General Grievous being like, you're only prolonging the inevitable... And Mace Windu fighting an entire army of droids without a lightsaber, basically, and just using the force and punching them, dude. Just yeah, boom, it's and so then just sick. going like, and then like it. No, it's like, so Shh. sick. And that General Grievous scene is incredible, dude. Where he, he like literally grabs one by the face, and is like, yeah, and just no, like, it's awesome, dude. I watched that so many times as a kid. And then when he's chasing Sidious, and Mace Windu crushes his chest, and like that's where he gets his cough. Yeah, and like, and the the, the guy you know with whose cough throats, that is. No, George Lucas. Oh, your Continue, favorite your sorry. favorite Star Wars director, guy with the throats. Yeah, um, and Yoda does some awesome stuff in that. Yeah. It was just fun. It was so fun. Oh, and the the clones, they're they they look they look so mad cool in that that, that movie. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah, oh, and Kit Fisto's kicking butt too, He's dude. He's got the underwater Water, shit. Yeah, bro. And then there was like a game that I played online that was like very similar to like some of the stuff in the movie, and like I love that too. Yeah, that's a childhood thing. That's an easy number two for me. Yeah. I want to go watch it now. I had the DVD. Dude, let's. Let's, let's go it. watch now. Rachel's never seen it. Oh, bro. Dude. That's and not a that's fight not... with Anakin and Asajj Ventress. And... Oh, my gosh. He, like, kills her. Yeah. He kills her dead. Yeah, he's still got the thing. Oh, and that's when they... Yeah, <laughs> when we learned that, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yo, the Asajj Ventress, she's got the two... Yeah. And then he, like... And he's got that awesome blue Jedi Starfighter that they made a Lego set about inexplicably yes. like 20 years later. Yeah. yeah, dude. Is there anything else we're missing? That was a lot. That's really good. That's really fun. I've always thought the animation for Palpatine is especially Weird. ugly. Yeah. He's got the, the nose and the hair. Yeah, yeah. Like the animation in Clone Wars, like the actual Clone Wars show is also ugly. Like, Cat Dooku's face is so long. Long. But, like, yeah, the, the animation for Palpatine is especially ugly in that show. But it's awesome. And Yeah, that scene where General Grievous is, like, chasing him, which, like, doesn't make, like, it's all stage, apparently. Cause, yeah. But, but, like, it was creepy because they have, like, four Jedi in there to protect Sidious, right? Yeah. And then you just see General Grievous, like, outside the window. Yeah, it's so sick. And then he, like, tries to grab him. Yeah, it's so sick. And they're in the elevator. Oh, yeah, dude. It's so sick. And then there's the Shaggy character. Yeah. What's his name? Shaggy. Yeah, Shaggy. Yeah. (laughs) No, that's good stuff. Okay, we're doing 10. Yeah. Because you brought it up. Star Wars characters based on ugliness. So a a one would... Can I start? Sure. Yeah, so a one would be what? Like an ugly character? Yeah, so the uglier, the higher they'll be. All right, Kiati Mundi. He's ugly, but he's not as ugly as you can get in Star Wars. I agree. So I'm going to go six. Ben Quadraneros. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, the literal egg, right? I'm going to go three. He's the literal egg. He's Humpty Dumpty, brother. Admiral Ackbar, or as I call him, Admiral Snackbar. Dude, I'm going to go... N- He's a weird creature, but like that's what the creature is supposed to look like. You yeah. Know? So I'm gonna go. Seven. I love the Mon Calamari. No, Mon Calamari is great. I'm gonna yeah. go eight. Okay. Bib Fortuna specifically. Yeah, he's because he's ugly. He's ugly, and he's also evil. So he's got like a tentacle here, I and the you to jump it now. and the teeth and the like red looking eye. Yeah. Um, it's either two or four. I'll go two. Zero the hut. Is that one of the twins? The, no. Oh, that's it's the, the purple one from the Clone Wars show. 
any hut is pretty high. I'm going to go four. Okay. I think you're going to be pretty low on this one. Uh, Ayla Secura. Oh my gosh, 10. Yeah. She would almost be a one if this was a different bracket. Yeah, bro. I'm rocking. You rocking? I'm rocking. She's the blue. Are you rocking Shakti? Yeah, probably. Yeah, bro. She's hot as fuck in the Clone Wars. Isla Secura more so? Yeah. But Shakti, like, if you search Isla Secura on, like, Google Images, like, you scroll once and you're already seeing some stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, dude. Not that I've... Next. I'm, I'm going to... I don't... I forget what they're called, but a hammerhead. Oh, the throat guys. Seven. Cad Bane. Nine. He's kind of hot. Yeah, he can be a daddy, dude. He's like, he's got the dude. Did you like how they did him in Boba Fett? I didn't finish it, but I saw pictures. I oh, the, they nailed the voice. You haven't heard him speak? Maybe. I thought it was good. Tatooine belongs to the syndicate. I was like, oh, that's my boy. And like, he's so lanky and yeah. skinny. I like, I loved it. Like, I get that it's not like perfect, but as we just said, Count Dooku's face is like 20 feet long in Clone Wars. Of yeah. course, it's not going to be a perfect. He could land a plane on freaking <laughs> Count Dooku's face in the Clone Wars. Yeah. So of course, it's not going to be perfect. Like his skin color is a little bit lighter. Mm. His nose is kind of in a different place. But guess what? Every Clone Wars character's nose is in a different place <laughs> yeah. in Clone Wars. Two more. Do you know Admiral Trench? No. No. He is the spider admiral for the Separatists that after the first chronological episode of Clone Wars, which is called Cat and Mouse, he blows up a little and the half of his body is cybernetic. He's a spider man, if you will. He's got a great voice. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. no, I remember him. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go one, I guess. Really? I think Admiral Trench is kind of handsome. But he's a spider. That's the problem. And he's cybernetic. <laughs> you know, like, the design of him is, is actually kind of cool. Yeah, I might regret that. Because I know what my one would be. Fine. Mm, yeah, I'm going to put him five. Even Peel. Hmm? Even Peel. What's that? He's the guy that they have to break out of the Citadel. And then he dies. Oh, the Jedi? Yeah, so they With just... With one eye? Yeah, so they just went to the Citadel to get poor Echo killed. Yeah, okay. So even Peel's number one. Uh, of this list, I think Bib Fortuna and Ben Habaneros would probably... And Hut. Ben Quadraneros. Quad, sorry. Uh, I think all three of them. But, so even Peel, Bib, uh, Ben, Zero, Admiral Trench. That's a good top five. I'm happy with that top five cool. in general. I'd mix them up a little bit. Yeah. My number one overall is any hut, probably. Job of the Hut is going to be number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fat, ugly, and a terrible person. Terrible person. He um, rapes Leia. Yeah, dude. Kiati Mundi, throat guy. Yeah. The hammerhead. Yeah, the guy with. I specifically want the one from the cantina scene in. Yeah. In New Hope. Just epic throat power is all I know. <laughs> I could call him your mom. Um, Akbar is eight. Cad Bane, Isla Secura. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. I think that's great. We need to put pictures up or something. Nobody knows who any of these people are. All right, ready? Yep. We're going to go... Um, what's Chewbacca's dad's name? You talking about from the holiday special, or are you talking about from Revenge of the Sith? Revenge of the Sith. Tarful, but Tarful. that's technically in canon. Not his dad. He's just the the chief. I thought that was like his dad. Oh, Tarful then. Yeah. Eight. Tarful's pretty handsome. Tarful is handsome. Cause Tarful is. Ah! Yeah. Like at the fucking. Yeah. No. Like look at him. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Look at this one right here. Yeah, dude. Intense. Um, we're doing Zam Wazel in yeah. in normal form. Yeah, so green. Yeah. You call her Zam Wazel? I thought it was Zam Wessel. I've heard both. 
She's still a woman, so I gotta go four. Uh, the Kaminoans. The Kaminoans. You're you've yet to pronounce a Star Wars <laughs> character correct. Um, the Kaminoans. I'm I'm killing it, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, Kaminoans are pretty hot, so I'm gonna go really ten. Yeah. Wow. What? Yeah. You just kind of identify with them a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Dude, you know what you think like when you see like a human woman? That's like what I think when I see a Kaminoan. Like you want to. You know, when, them? you know when, like, an elephant sees another elephant and they're like, I want to bang? Like, yeah. That's what I think when I see another Kaminoan. Yeah, for sure. Just right. all neck. You kind of identify. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Poggle the Lesser. <sighs> He's fucking ugly. Dude. One. Really? <laughs> yeah. He's fucking ugly. And he's a shitty dude. Yeah. When fucking Anakin chokes him out in that one scene, I was like, yeah, I hate that guy. Yeah. Uh, we're going, um, oh, I had one. You could do a good one here. We haven't done any of these characters. Darth Maul. Nine. Darth Maul's hot as shit. If yeah. I could have, up, well, I mean, no, I can't, really? I mean, I can't he's, say he's I mean, he could be a daddy. Anything. He can be kind of hot, but he's also got the horns and looks creepy. He looks like the devil. No, but he's so hot. And so. Sam Witwer's voice performance. I mean, it brings it up 10 points for me. Sam Witwer might be the hottest man in Star Wars. Uh, Newt Gunray. There you go. That's what I was looking for. One of the Chinese stereotypes. Yeah. Um, this can't be happening. Now, there are two of them. <laughs> what do I got? I got a... I'll do three. He's fucking ugly, man. Uh, Watto. I'm a toy there. Only money. Yeah, uh, split the winnings uh, 50 50, I think. No? So we go from the hilariously racist Chinese stereotype to the hilariously racist Jewish stereotype. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, five. Only money. <laughs> How did that get greenlit? How did the prequels come out? We're going to go. Um, Dexter. Seven. I think Dexter, Dexter's kind of cute. Yeah, the arms. Yeah. But in Poncrell, he's like two. Dude, I fucking hate that guy. Let's go. But I the had... personality matters here. You know what I'm saying? A little. Yeah. We are, we are, uh. We're not giving species here. Yaddle. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, two and six. I'll do two. Okay. Just because. With Yaddle, it really bothers me that she doesn't talk like Yoda. Yeah. I really think everybody in that species should talk backwards. Yeah, of course. Because, like, why does Yoda talk backwards? It's just a quirk. Like. Yeah, it's weird. It's, like, such a cool Star Wars thing until Tales of the Jedi. And now it's just weird that he doesn't talk regular. Boss Nass. Yeah, all right. So. All right. So you got Pog of the Lesser. Yaddle, Newt Gunray, Zamwazel, Wessel, Watto, Boss Nass, Dexter, Tarful, Darth Maul, Kaminoans. Cam what would you change? Kaminoans. Kaminoans. I'm going to stick to my guns on that I one. wouldn't change anything. Really? You're putting Boss Nass at six? Yeah, he's ugly. Fat Gungan is underneath the Zam and Watto and to Newt? The, to the planet Gore. Dude, he's an easy two. Come on. No. He's an easy two. No. Dude, big mouth lip looking. Yaddle. Slug looking Yaddle, underwater weird. Yaddle is like really short. It's like Tinkerbell. Mm-hmm. You went there? Mm-hmm. Tinkerbell's cuter than Yaddle. Obviously. Obviously? Yeah. You said they're similar. You're putting Yaddle... Yaddle's little. It would feel weird. Yaddle is uglier than Boss Nass. You're wrong. Yeah, maybe. But Yaddle looks weird because Yaddle's got hair. Yaddle's Yoda with hair. It just looks Boss weird. Boss Nass looks weird because he's Boss Nass. Do you not remember what he looks like? Oh, of course. He's slobbering all over the place? Yeah, dude, I'm not trying to fuck him either, but I'd rather... I'm I, not asking who you're putting your penis in. I'd I'm rather asking, put my penis in him than Yaddle. What? Yeah. Why? Dude, I'm pulling pictures up. There's no way you think this. Yaddle looks like Yoda with a mullet. 
I, I'm not saying Yaddle's a 10 out of 10, brother. Dude, there's no shot. There's no way you're looking at this and being like, penis and this, rather. Dude, th- look, look, come on. That's ugly, but like, put together. You're saying you'd rather, you'd rather put your penis in this? Yeah. In this? Yes. That looks like my aunt. You'd rather put your penis in your aunt? That wasn't a good point. You're supposed to convince me because you want to incest? Misa like this. That's what he's going to say to you when your penis freaking... You're weird, dude. There's no shot. Boss Nass is like up there with Jabba. My bad. It goes Jabba, then Boss Nass for like not smashable Star Wars characters. Is this animated Yaddle? Look, animated Yaddle is even better, dude. Yeah, but Clone Wars makes everybody better looking. Wild. All right, ready? I'm going to F Mary kill your top three. Okay. Poggle the Lesser, Yaddle, Newt Gunray. Killing Poggle. I'm fucking Yaddle, and I'm marrying Newt for the money. Yeah, that's fair. What about mine? Even Peel? Uh, Bib Fortuna, Ben, Habaneros, <laughs> Quagineros. I do love, that's one of my favorite scenes in Phantom Menace. <laughs> All right, here's Ben Quadranera. Quadranera's not kidding. In the, they're just, it's so funny. They're sportscasters. I'm going to, I'm killing Bib. I don't think I can do that. Fair. Ben seems like a nice guy. So I'll marry him. But he's kind of a scrub. Yeah, but you, you know. You want to marry a bum? I guess. I don't want to deal with the Jedi Order. And he's. Look how that w- turned out for Anna. Short. Anakin and Padme. He's also short. So you got the same problem. Are you as short Anna. shaming? When it comes to the, that short, yes. How short is too short? You don't like. Yeah, if you are under three feet tall, it's not going to work. You saying that to all of our fans that are under three feet tall? Yes. <laughs> they can still be a great Jedi. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't think so. You shouldn't have given Yoda a lightsaber. Ah, here we go. 